All right, let's see if we can do this. It's a quasi cooking with the Kelvits. It's just me, Ramsey, Winter, my sous chef. I got a fire going. My camera lady is out, out on the town doing fun stuff, I guess. So, tonight I'm making potatoes, peppers, chimichurri, and steak. Steaks and chimichurri will take the least amount of time, so we're just gonna go ahead and do the, uh, show the preparation as the uh, fire gets warmed up. Everything's already been washed. I got two potatoes, and I'm just gonna start poking a bunch of holes in this bad boy. Basically what I want to do is allow the seasoning to get nice and in there of my neighbors. Ramsey, just stay there. Good boy. All right. Winter is playing with Pete the Cat. Mom's gone, so you already know what that means from a while back. Yeah, we're staying up late. I know. Say dad, dad. Dad, dad? Could also do this with a fork. I forgot a fork and I've already started, so we're using the knife. Okay. All right, go ahead. Grab some tin pole. How you doing? Oh, Ramsey, there's Cassie. Play nice. He's stalking. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna do here? Oh, here comes the dogs. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Salt. And then, I actually probably didn't even need the salt because I'm cheating today using some Montreal seasoning. Mm. It's for steak, but you can pretty much use it on anything. Oh, all the whole down. Go ahead and make sure to mop it all up, get it all over this bad boy. Mm. Okay, and then tightly wrap it. And then I've been burning it lately, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a second sheet in the attempt to not burn it so badly. <coughs> Boom. Do that with the other one. Winnie. La olive oil. And this time, yeah, I'm not even worried. Oh, sheesh. Winter, was that you? Anything with this one? All right, just talking to the neighbor, saying what's up. Ramsey just got a nice play in with uh, the neighbor's dog. Winter, still hanging out. Wanna say hello? Say hello. Being shy. All right, anyway, so got the uh, oh, smoke in the eye, but I definitely have the potatoes on. They're gonna take about oh, woo, 45 to an hour. And now we're gonna get the onions ready. Onion we're gonna do basically the same way as the uh, <coughs> Oof, just got a bunch of shit in my eye. Um, I've never actually cooked like this before, but I'm gonna give it a whirl, why not? So, top, tail. Now we wanna keep it as whole as possible, but we do wanna take, let's do some, go ahead and just compost this into the fire. There we go. 
Anyway, take off the first layer of the onion. Thank you, Winnie. Compost that into the fire. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clean off this knife because it fell on the ground. And that's just dirt. We're gonna cut this down about three-fourths the way. Half. And half again. And then have those halves. Okay. And now you got it still together at the bottom, but it's nice and open at the top. So now, again. Throw some olive oil into it. Make sure you get it right on top so it goes down into all those crevices. Montreal seasoning, cheating today, like I said. Go ahead, open it, open up some of these leaves or whatever. Get some seasoning into it. Okay. Get that all around it. Thanks, Winnie. All right, and now, nice and tight. Gonna do the onion. Second to keep it from burning. Okay, dokey. And then just like the, ooh, get that right next to the embers. I'm gonna build up embers over the next 45 minutes. I'm gonna push them over here, put the grill on top, and we'll grill up the steak and the peppers. Just a little check-in. Fire's going, I need some more embers. Potato, onion potato, doing well. Winter's eating her meal, minus the meat. Which I'm gonna cook here once she's finished all that stuff. Which means I'll be eating this after the meat, or I'll be just getting mine later. Regardless. So this is what we want, a nice fire, but the embers are what's cooking everything. Just building up more embers, starting to feed it over here. This is where the grill zone's gonna be. Ember zone, ember with grill. Ramsey helping Winter eat her dinner. Winnie, hello, hello. Stop feeding Ramsey. <laughs> yeah, you think it's funny, don't you? All right, we'll check. All right, it. so I got the grill grate going. I'm gonna char up some jalapeno peppers, chilies. I'm gonna, no, I don't know if I'm making a authentic chimichurri. I'm making whatever the hell I want because that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and char these up, and I'm also gonna char up. I know, Winnie. Two peppers. Whole. There we go. Give those time. Those embers are hot, I assure you. All right, I went ahead and lowered it a little just to increase the heat. As you can see, jalapenos are looking nice. Uh, peppers obviously gonna take a little bit longer, but otherwise looking good. All right, so the peppers are still going, but the jalapenos are done. So let's go ahead and start making a chimichurri. So, I got oregano and I got parsley. I got my toasted jalapenos slash peppers, however you wanna look at it. And then I got three cloves of garlic. So, 
I don't have the steadiest board of all time. Just gonna go ahead and just roughly chop up this garlic. Just give it a rough choppy. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. It's a little off screen. Pestle and molder. Go ahead and put the garlic in there. Throw in some rock salt. That's going to be an abrasive. I'm going to give that a nice some pounding. Yeah, Winnie. Chimichurri. Okay, yep. Alright, once you got a nice little paste going, go ahead and chop up. Chop up your greens. Don't need to be perfect, just get it chopped. Throw it in. Take your jalapenos or chilies. I'm gonna leave the seeds in because I'm a psycho and I want the heat. Take the stems, put them in the fire. And then I'm just gonna open this up. Yeah, I'll take some of the seeds out actually. I'll leave the seeds in one. Make sure I don't touch winter with my hands. Holy shit, that's a lot of seeds. Good. It's just like still coming out. <laughs> and then add to the chimney and the cherry. Oh yeah, I can smell how hot that is. Holy goodness me. Say so thank you for that. And then start to bash all that up. So we got garlic, oregano, parsley, charred chili. Once we got a little bit of something going on here, I'm gonna go ahead, add some olive oil. I'm just gonna add the rest of what I have. I have more over here. Good mix. Yeah, Winnie. So, I think you just make it how you like, as Stell Cracker would say. I'm gonna want, I want mine to be a little chunky. Maybe I add some olive oil later, but I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna let all this kind of go together. And then a little splash of red wine vinegar, just to tame some of the chili and the heatness. Brings it all together. Mm. That's looking good. Give it a quick taste. Mm, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> All right, steaks next. All right, be ready for the steaks. So we want these embers to be blazing hot, which it could be hotter. Yeah, it's getting nice and hot. I think my eyebrows are missing. So, we are ready to go. <clears throat> All right, I've seasoned up my steaks of Montreal. They've been outside for a good 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully when it hits the flame, yeah, you get a nice sear starting. All right. Now we just wanna keep this nice and hot. All right, Winnie? I also touched my forehead after the, I um, after around with those chilies. 
My poor head's on fire. Absolute fire. I literally just said, don't touch anything. And then I went ahead and touched my forehead. Oh well, what can you do? So, give these steaks about a minute and flip them. Render the fat. I only really want to cook them for about four to five minutes of that to get a nice medium rare. Let's see how the peppers are looking. Oh, yeah, the peppers are charring up real nice. So I'll actually have to take this inside and we'll take off some of the char. Actually, no, screw that. I'm going to keep the char on. I like char. But, yeah, keep them. Keep the grill hot. Wonder what time is it? Okay, so those potatoes and whatnot are probably done. So let's go ahead and just grab those off the fire. Ooh, man! If I only had a camera, lady. Winter, you want to hold this for me? Here, can you hold this? Just leave it there. Don't push it over. Here, zoom into the good stuff. So, oh, yep, that's, I expected as much. All right, and we're back. So it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look at these bad boys. Oh, goodness gracious me. Yes. Yes, please. Keep the grill hot. It smells absolutely amazing. Got a nice little flame gun. So the, uh, those are pretty much done. The onion's pretty soft. The potatoes feel soft. I'm just, I took them off the like direct heat and now they're just kind of next to a flame. Believe it or not, the flame is not as hot. All right, I gotta focus on these steaks and the whatever. I'll see if my sous chef wants to help me. The sous chef's not about it, so it is what it is. These are coming in nicely. This pepper is beautifully charring. As you can see the green. A little bit bigger of a bit, bit. Oh, let's go ahead and just flip it on its stomach. And we're going to go ahead and give the fat a little bit of a render. I know, and it smells that good. Right, let's just go ahead and stack these. And fat side down. Now we are rendering that fat. Mm-hmm. Also, I am, uh, these are Demonico, um, Demonico ribeyes, aka boneless ribeyes. Alright, they're looking fucking sexy. Let's keep those going. It's hard to do with one hand and taking care of a baby, so let me just, uh, I'll come back to you. And the final. Potatoes cooked beautifully. That onion, though, mmm. Peppers, and there's the steak. This was Winnie's. Had to cook that one a little bit longer. Mmm, still tastes amazing. Slice through it, see what it looks like. These are housed steak. Yours was cooked a little bit longer because you're a baby. But it's still medium rare. I think you got a medium rare. I guess we'll find out. Mmm. Tastes good. Now dad's gonna make his now. <laughs> oh yeah, that came out actually perfect. So, I mean, it it's definitely looks rarer than what it shows in this video. That's what happens when you have a North Korean phone, but that's okay. And then get some of that chimichurri that I got. Just kind of 
put it all over there. It's going to add some heat, some parsley, oregano. Mm. Add it on to some of that. Not all of it, because my wife will probably come home and have some, so I'll just put on the ends. I'll worry about the potato later. Look, you can see this bad boy. Mm. Please. All right. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. Parsley. Oh, it's hot. But then it's not. Vinegar. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Try some of these onions. Mmm. They're soft yet. Yet caramelized. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's have some pepper with some chimichurri. Oh god! All right. In short, she came out amazing. <clears throat> just make this. Just make it. Believe me, just make it. Cooking the cabbage out.